with today? Uh, Merle Allen from the Murder Junkies. Now you guys are on tour, right? Yes, we are. We're just doing like a short little two-week uh, East Coast tour at the moment. And uh, I'm actually in the process of booking our summer tour uh, for late July through August. And then we'll be going back to Europe in the fall. So. Now for the people at home, how long has the Murder Junkies been a band? Wow, let's see. The Murder Junkies formed in 1990. When I moved to New York City, and you know, basically to start the band, and Gigi was in prison, uh, so I started the band while he was in prison, and uh, we started playing the music. And when Gigi got out of uh, prison. We hit the road in 1991 for the first tour. How many bands have you been with Gigi? Uh, the Murder Junkies, the AIDS Brigade, which we uh, did back in 1989. And we recorded the uh, three song single, Expose Yourself to Kids, Gypsy Motherfucker, and Hanging Out with Jim, which was on Homestead Records. And then uh, I was with him in the Jabbers, basically before the Jabbers were actually formed, way back in like the late 70s, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, didn't you just have a European tour last year? Yeah, we did our second European tour uh, last fall, and um, we. Uh, we did about, I don't know, close to 20 shows and uh, played around Germany and Holland and Austria and places like that. Now, with that, what was your uh, biggest uh, gig, like with the most uh, crack packed crowd people? Uh, it was probably the first tour that we did in 2005 when we played in, uh, in uh, Sweden. You know, we had we played this big like theater and it was packed. I was like, holy God. Now, we're at the Punk House. Right? Yes, we are. We're at the beautiful punk house on uh, in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. I don't even know. It's 1130 mm -hmm. uh, 26th Street. So everybody come on down to the punk house. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you met a lot of bands that hang out here, right? Yeah, I met some cool people. Uh, Erie's got, you know, it's got a really pretty cool scene and uh, the kids are all pretty, uh, pretty, you know. Now, even the people at home may not know that I promoted the event last night. So where was the event last night last for the night, people at home? Last night we played at the Dog House. Uh, once again, I'm not familiar with Erie, so I don't know the address, but it was like a biker bar. Uh, good mix of punk kids and biker people and uh, had a good time. Now, uh, the front guy, how long has he been with the band? Well, you know, the Murder Junkies have a revolving door of singers, so... At the moment, our other singer, J.B. Beverly, is on tour with the Way with Drifters. Um, uh, we've got a couple other singers that weren't available, so we have this guy, Polly Duvet, who is uh, the front man from a band called They Hate Us. And he's only, this is like his fourth show with us, so. So what other uh, members uh, pop in and out? Uh, Jeff Clayton from Anti-Scene usually does, you know, a little stint with us in the summertime, and uh, FC Murder who lives down in Florida and has a band down there, you know, went to Europe with us last year, so. You want to plug any of the tour dates coming up? Uh, well, I know that our, uh, like, summer tour will start in late July, and we'll start the tour in Pittsburgh at the 31st Street Pub, and then uh, we'll just be playing dates all around the country. I'm, I'm, I don't have all the information yet. How about, like, merchandise uh, websites? Uh, the merchandise, if you're looking for Gigi Allen or Murder Junkies uh, related merchandise, you can go to ggallin.com. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff on there. We're on MySpace, Murder Junkies, I have my own personal page. Dino Sex has his own personal page. And there's the Dino Sex for Christ's Sakes porno video that's available as well. Uh, but all that stuff is, you know, like I said, on the website. So, uh, Check it out. All right, now, uh, one last question. What's the best way to get into music for someone who's like, has talent, but like, you know, just getting started in a scene, you know, they just moved into a town that they're not used to? What's the best way for them to do that? God, yeah. you know, you just got to basically go out and hang out. And I mean, when I, when I moved from Vermont and New Hampshire back in the late 70s, I moved to Boston. You basically just have to go out and hang out where shows are happening and meet people and... Uh, you know, just do your own thing and play the music that you like to play instead of, you know, a lot of kids today, they just, they hear some certain thing and they want to sound like the next band that's popular or something like that. I just, 
I think the best thing to do is just, you know, the whole punk spirit is just be yourself and play what you want to play and do what you want to do. And if people like you, they do. And if they don't, then fuck them, you know? <laughs> well, hey, thank you very much. Wait a minute, how long have you been uh, in bands? Like, like, when was the first time you ever got in a band? Uh, me and Gigi formed our first band together back in when we were kids, back in like the early 70s in a band called Little Sister's Date was our first band and then uh, in 1975 to 76 or 77 we played in a band called Malpractice together and that's right before I moved to uh, Boston to uh, join a band called Thrills who I played with for a number of years and we opened for bands like the Ramones and you know Johnny Thunders and the Dolls and Stiff Little Fingers and the Dead Boys and stuff like that so old school punk yep. you know well, anyway, this has been Christian Lestat. Be sure to sign up for Spotlight. You want to give a peace out to all the fans out there? Uh, hey, to everybody in Erie, thanks for coming down and supporting us. And uh, we'll be back again next time. See you then. Well, I can't wait.